Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm probably doing the most requested video I've ever gotten on my channel so far. But I feel like I say that about every single video, but this one, I, trust me, it is highly requested. I would say the number one DMs that I get on Instagram are what lip color are you wearing? Even though here and there on my story and sometimes even on my pictures I will mention what lipstick I'm wearing, that just seems to be like the number one question. So finally, the day has come. I decided to sit down and share with you guys my favorite liquid lipsticks. These are more of just nude liquid lipsticks. Like I didn't include any of the reds and stuff just because I feel like I don't wear red that often. It's mostly just like a brown nude or a pink nude. Maybe just sometimes it'll be a little bit more of a bright um, pink, but that's about it. So I kind of went through my makeup drawer and looked for lipsticks that I usually tend to go for and the ones that I'm currently really, really loving. And I've combined it and I've narrowed it down to 12 liquid lipsticks that I'm absolutely obsessed with that I'll always need in my makeup collection no matter what. And that's not the best part. I'm not only going to be sharing them with you guys, I'm going to be giving all 12 of my favorite liquid lipsticks to one lucky winner. So this is now going to be my second giveaway. And it's kind of perfect because I feel like I'm really close to 50K. So it's kind of like the perfect time to do this giveaway. So just so I don't confuse things, I don't want to talk about the giveaway in the video. I'm just going to list every single thing about the giveaway, including exactly what colors you're going to be getting of the liquid lipstick in the description below, how to enter and everything like that. So definitely check out the description to know about the giveaway and enter the correct way. I'll definitely be sure to mention when the giveaway is ending, when it's starting and just everything like that. So definitely if you guys want to win my favorite liquid lipsticks uh check out the description and enter for the giveaway and those of you who don't win don't worry depending on how many entries i get i might just do another giveaway really really soon for you guys so yeah i'm really excited and let's jump into the video so first things first before i even start i do want to tell you guys since these lipsticks are liquid lipsticks they tend to be dry some brands that I'm going to tell you guys, they might not be as drying as others. So something I do every single time I'm applying a liquid lipstick, I put a lip balm. I never put a liquid lipstick without a lip balm because I honestly have dry lips. And I'm just letting any of you guys know that, you know, wanted to wear liquid lipsticks and just never could because you thought they would be way too drying on you layer lips with like a nice lip balm personally my favorite one right now is by it cosmetics um but honestly any lip balm that you really think works for you and is moisturizing enough for your lips use that because i definitely use a lip balm before i put a liquid lipstick it's just something i've done for a long time and i feel like it really works for me and another thing i always uh use a lip liner before i use lipstick just to define my lips and overline my lips a little bit honestly Overlining when done tastefully can be super amazing and give you the most perfect shape. So yeah, I do lip line and sometimes I really just use the same lip liner when applying all my lipsticks because the lip pencil is just uh, defining my lip shape a little bit. I'm not trying to add a lot of color. So um, I mean, I guess one that I really, really like right now is the Pillow Talk one by Charlotte Tilbury. This is the only one I'm going to be using for all of my liquid lipsticks. Just any lip pencil that you think works for you and is just really pale and doesn't add a lot of color just to define your lips is perfect. You kind of just really need like one or two in your kit. You don't need a lip pencil for each liquid lipstick. That's just crazy. So yeah, I feel like I've talked enough. And let's get started with my first favorite liquid lipstick. So the first one you guys have probably heard me talk about all the time is by Charlotte Tilbury and it's in the shade Best Actress. This one is just absolutely stunning. I don't know what else to say. I feel like on my complexion, it's the perfect nude liquid lipstick. And it, the formula of Charlotte Tilbury liquid lipsticks is just so hydrating. I mean, it's not as drying as let's say Kylie. Kylie is definitely a lot more drying. I love the applicator of her liquid lipsticks as well. I feel like they go on um, the lip perfectly. I definitely describe Charlotte Tilbury's liquid lipstick formula as long lasting. It's personally one of my favorites and I feel like I've mentioned them on Instagram so much and everyone really knows how much I love 
her liquid lipstick formula. So yeah, best actress is my first favorite. Okay, so the next one is also by Charlotte Tilbury and this one is in color Charlotte Darling. This one you also probably heard me talk so much about. This one is lighter in color than best actress. Sometimes when I apply liquid lipstick and I feel like it's a little bit too dark, I always go on top and apply a thin layer of Charlotte Darling and I feel like it always does wonders for me. So I'm going to go in with Pillow Talk Lip Liner and then apply Charlotte Darling for you guys to see. Okay, so this next one I've recently discovered. It's so, so, so beautiful and definitely one that I needed in my makeup collection. And that is a MAC liquid lipstick in the color Burnt Spice. This one is so beautiful. It's kind of has like an orange hue and I would definitely describe it more in the brown tone than the pink. And surprisingly enough, I found the MAC formula to be not that dry either. I mean, I always thought they would be super dry because they're like their lipsticks are always so dry the matte ones but this one isn't that dry like for a liquid lipstick i would put this formula right behind the charlotte tilbury formula recently discovered but definitely one of my favorites all right so we're moving right along to huda beauty now Huda Beauty is killing it with liquid lipsticks and I definitely have some that I absolutely love. Now Huda Beauty's liquid lipsticks, I really find that they're probably the most hydrating liquid lipsticks out there. Like they're honestly kind of oily when you apply them. That's personally what I feel. But And they do take a little bit more time to dry down. Definitely perfect for anyone who has super, super dry lips. Like the most hydrating liquid lipsticks that I have in my collection. Now, the first one I'm going to share with you guys is Bombshell. Now, Bombshell is probably the most perfect pink nude out there. It is so gorgeous and just goes with everything dark eyes, light eyes, just, just about everything. Sometimes even when you just want concealer and some color to your lips, I feel like Bombshell is so perfect. All right, so the next one from Huda Beauty is Sugar Mama. Sugar Mama is a lot lighter than Bombshell, but it's a bit more orange than pink. So um, again, that's something that looks really good on my complexion, so I really love this one too. This one is definitely a topper for me too. Like for a darker brown, I would definitely top it up with this to lighten it up a bit. And I do personally do a lot of mixing, so that's why it's, sometimes it's hard to just pinpoint one liquid lipstick because I've, you know, doubled them up or something. So the next two I'm going to share with you guys from Huda Beauty are the Demi Matte Formula. Um, I love this formula when I don't really want a super matte lip, but I'm still mentally mentally and physically attached to matte liquid lipsticks, this Demi Matte comes in handy. This first one is in the color Day Slayer. Day Slayer is definitely a light brown toned lipstick. Now her Demi Matte formula goes on really glossy, but as you rub your lips together, it tends to get more and more matte. So it's kind of cool and I do love this color. And then her next Demi Matte uh, liquid lipstick that I'm obsessed with is Feminist. Now, like I said, Day Slayer was more brown toned. This one is definitely more pink toned. So if you're really looking for a nice Demi Matte formula in a pink nude lipstick, this is kind of like the one I would go for. It's really, really, really beautiful, honestly. It complements my skin tone really well. All right, so this next one is my first liquid lipstick that I ever started wearing by Anastasia Beverly Hills, and it's in the color Crush. Now, this one is my favorite topper. It's super pigmented, and it's light, and it's nude. Every single time I want a liquid lipstick to become more nude, this is what I add. They're so opaque, but they sit on the lips really, really well and are super long-lasting, so this one is my favorite and the only one I really use from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Personally, I find the Anastasia Beverly Hills formula to be a little bit more drying than, let's say, the Charlotte Tilbury and the Huda. Uh, it's not as 
dry as the Kylie formula, but it's definitely a bit more on the drying side. All right, so we're moving along and have four more left. And now these last four are from Kylie Cosmetics. Now, like I've been saying, the Kylie Cosmetics formula is super dry, but I find it to last really long. Like they are super long lasting liquid lipsticks. Now, that might just be because they're dry. Um, so I always like to use lip balm underneath and it just makes it that much better for me and less drying. But again, I love her colors i love like she's got it down with those nude colors so the first one i'm absolutely obsessed with and the one i use all the time and get asked all the time is commando this one is so beautiful definitely like, definitely a deeper nude but some of you guys might be thinking that all these colors look the same to me every single one of them is different and i love them for different different reasons so yeah just wanted to put that out there My next favorite Kylie lipstick is One Wish. This one is definitely on the lighter side, but just I, I love it for when I have darker eyes and just like a lot going on in my eyes. This one I definitely reserve for those looks, but I love it. I really like the Kylie applicators. They're probably my favorite applicators from all my liquid lipsticks. But yeah, I love this color. Right, moving along, we have the last two left. And these aren't that nudie, they're a bit more bright, but some days I love them when I want a little bit more color on my lip. So the first one here is Angel. Angel is a really, really pretty pink. Definitely not like a bubblegum pink because I don't really like bubblegum pink, but it's like a mixture of like bubblegum pink and nude to me. Like if they had a baby, that is Angel. <laughs> All right, we're finally here down to my last one. And this one is Kylie Cosmetics in Autumn. And this one I definitely would describe as more of like a red-orange color. Some days when I don't want to go out and wear red lipstick, I tend to wear this one and it works out beautifully for me. So I'm going to go ahead and try Autumn on for you guys. Oh my god, you guys, we've made it to the end of this video and I showed you guys my favorites. I've definitely been wanting to share this with you guys for a long time and I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Now before leaving, definitely check out the giveaway and make sure that you guys are entered. I'll have all the details like I said in the description below of how to enter, when it's closing, when it's starting and just everything like that. So all your confusion will be cleared in the description. And let me know in the comment section what you guys thought of these colors. Which, which of these did you guys like best? Definitely let me know. I love reading you guys' comments. And definitely don't forget to subscribe and while you're at it follow me on instagram and yeah just like that this video is over I and i hope you guys enjoyed watching until next time